three years ago today that I last saw my son and talked with him, Aaron. Uh, it's rather surreal that it has been this long and, and well, that it even happened. Um, our family, uh, not just the, the ones that are here today, but uh, our family has struggled with the not knowing of, of what happened to him that night. Uh, he was with a co-worker at the Level nightclub and uh, it's, it, it's completely out of character for Aaron to just walk away from his life and his family and his friends. And uh, if, if something happened to him that he was hurt and maybe doesn't have his memory or uh, he's out there somewhere, um, I'm just hoping that, that someone will make, make the call and, and let us know where he is and, and uh, let us know what's happened to him. Uh, it's extremely difficult to go each day thinking that he's not with us to share our lives and to share his life with us and with his with his family with his friends but it's it's even as difficult thinking that you know we may not find him and and he needs us to we we need to help we need to find him for us and uh, you know, life goes on and things change, but that never changes. Like a part of you is, is still out there, and uh, he's he's one. He's my second of four boys, and they're all very special to me. So, and to your family, our family. So, as Aaron's mom and as a mom. <laughs> I'm just asking, please, someone, you know, anyone out there with any information, please phone, phone Crime Stoppers or phone, phone your local police department. And uh, little things that you may not think is important, it could be, it could be that uh, it helps us to find Aaron.